Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to do a review of the Holiday 2019 Iridescent Tip Powder Collection from Sparkle & Co. And they sent their PR package over to me so I could show you guys before Black Friday. And this collection will be releasing during the Black Friday weekend, and I will share all of the information about that later. So let's get right into the video. So here's what the collection looks like. It comes in this beautiful red satin bag, and when I opened it up, it came with these swatch sticks. Now mind you, this is the PR kit, so these swatch sticks are not included in the regular kit, which I will talk more about later. And then obviously there are these six different dip powder shades. And here are these swatches, so you can see there is a wide range of colors, and they are all absolutely beautiful. So the first one is Santa Baby, and this is a red powder with the iridescent glitter inside. Here is But First Let Me Take an Elfie, and this is a green powder base with the same iridescent glitter. Here is Elsa's Castle, and this is a light blue with some purple shimmer, as well as the iridescent glitter. Here is Lit as a Christmas Tree, and this is a black base with red and green holographic glitter. Here is Christmas Queen, and this is a chunky glitter with some red and green colors. Here is Hanu Queen, and this is a chunky glitter with some different shades of blue. So I'm going to start off with my clean natural nails and I've pushed back my cuticles and buffed the surface. And now I'm going to be applying the PH Prep Liquid Number 1 to all of my nails. And this is a dehydrator and it will make sure that my nails are ready for the dip powder application. And since I want easy removal, I'm going to apply my Hollow Taco Peely Base. And this is my favorite peel off base coat because it allows super easy removal and it doesn't damage my natural nails. So I'm going to apply a thin even layer of this to all of the nails and then let it dry completely before moving on. So the shades I'm going to use in this video are Elsa's Castle and Hanu Queen, and I'm starting off with Elsa's Castle as the base. I'm also going to be using my Base Bond Liquid, my Solidify Liquid, as well as this clear dip container. So I'm going to start by pouring Elsa's Castle into my clear dip container, and I find that doing this is a really great way to get a nice glitter application, especially since the Sparkling Code jars are filled pretty full, I would recommend doing this, because first of all, it helps you dip your finger in without spilling all of the product, and it also helps you get a nice even glitter application. And I can't quite remember where I got this one, but I will be sure to leave a link to a dupe down below. So for the dip powder application, I'm applying a thin even layer of the base to the entire nail and then I'm dipping into the powder and especially with glitter powders like this one you want to be sure to keep your layers nice and thin because it will help the glitter go on nice and smooth and I repeated the first coat on all of the nails and this powder wasn't completely opaque in one coat so I am going to make it fully opaque with two and after I let the powder dry for a bit I'm dusting off any of the excess on the nails and skin and now I'm going in for a second coat. So I'm repeating the exact same steps as before, and if you watch my dip videos, you know I sound pretty repetitive, but it is super crucial to follow these steps to get a nice, beautiful dip powder application. And with two coats, the glitter becomes fully opaque, and this shade is honestly one of my favorites from the collection. I think that it is perfect for winter, and it reminds me of snow, and it just looks absolutely stunning on the nails. So I really recommend getting this powder kit, especially because it comes with a lot of beautiful shades for the holidays. So I'm just going to start wrapping up the second coat on all of my nails. And once I have used all of the powder that I need for all of my coats, I'm going to pour the excess back into the jar so I can reuse it. So here are the nails after two coats of Elsa's Castle. I wanted a little bit more sparkle on the nails, so I'm going in with Hanu Queen. And I'm also going to be using this fluffy brush to get the nice dip powder application. So I'm applying a thin even layer of the base to the entire nail, and then with my fluffy brush I'm dipping it into the glitter, and then I'm tapping the pieces over the nail. And this will help get a more sparse look on the nail because I don't want to cover up all of the beautiful powder we have underneath, so I just want a little bit of added glitter and this is the perfect way to achieve that look. So I repeated this on all of the nails, and after every second finger, I'm going to take my opposite finger and tap the glitter down into place to make sure that none of the pieces are sticking out. And this will just help the dip powder application be a little bit more smooth and not as textured and rough. So I'm just going to repeat that on all of the nails, and once again, after I finish up the pinky, I'm going to pat the little pieces of glitter in place. 
And once I've done that, I'm going to pour any of the excess glitter back into the container. If there are any glitter pieces around the cuticle area that are sticking out, I take a cuticle nipper and just remove those so that I don't have a rough cuticle area and it makes it a little bit more clean looking. So now with the powder brush, I'm dusting off all of the excess powder and I'm going to clear cap all of the nails. So I'm using DP90, which is crystal clear and I'm applying a thin even layer of base to the entire nail and then with my little spoon I got off the Sparkle & Co website I'm going to pick up some of the clear and sprinkle that over the nail and I do this instead of dipping into the clear powder because I don't want to contaminate it with any glitter or blue pieces. And this is a really great method to encapsulate the nails and it's super important to do this step because you don't want to file down all of that beautiful glitter that you just applied to the nail. So I would highly recommend clear capping these nails and it will also make the nails have a smooth texture so you don't feel all of the glitter pieces. And I actually really like these Sparkle & Co spoons. They are available for I think a couple dollars or maybe even one dollar on the website and I would highly recommend picking them up because it makes the clear encapsulation super easy. So after I'm done with the clear, I'm going to pour any excess back into the jar and then close it up and move on. So now I'm dusting away all of the excess clear powder. And I'm going to go in with my next step, which is activator. And this is Solidify from the Sparkle & Co brand. And I'm applying a generous amount of this to all of the nails. And this is a crucial step in getting all of the powder to harden and make it ready to file. And once I've let the activator dry for a few minutes, I'm going in with my Yayogi buffer and I'm going to file over the surface of all of the nails. And I'm just going to lightly go over the surface to make sure I don't go too deep into the glitter powder. And I'm also going along the free edge, and especially with glitter powders, sometimes it can get a little rough. So I highly recommend doing that to get a nice smooth nail. And I repeated that for all of the nails. And then with my manicure brush and some rubbing alcohol, I'm going over all of the nails to remove any of the dust and excess powder. And now I can go in with my final step, which is glossy coat. And this is the dip powder top coat available from Sparkle & Co. And I applied two thin layers of this to get a nice shiny finish. So on the first coat, you want to apply it in thin quick strokes and then let that dry for about a minute or so and go in with the second coat to get a super shiny finish. So the first coat kind of seeps into the powder and it leaves it a little bit matte. So after I let that dry, I'm going in for a second coat to get that super glossy look. And you can see here that the top coat really brings out all of that glitter and holographic sparkle in the nails and I think that it looks absolutely gorgeous. So here is my completed manicure using the Sparkle & Co Iridescent Holiday Collection and I can't say enough good things about this collection. I highly recommend it if you are looking for some beautiful holiday dip powder shades and the powders layer gorgeously on top of each other so you can create some really beautiful manicures. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Black Friday sale. So on the Sparkle & Co website, there will be two exclusive holiday iridescent collections available and they will only be available on the Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend. So one collection is the six mini dip powders in a set for $35 and that is the kit I just showed you guys. And there will also be a second collection of six eight milliliter gel polishes for $35 as well. And both collections will be similar to each other in the shade, but they will not be exact dupes. So if you are looking for some gel polishes, they will also be available on the Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend. So the sale starts November 28th, 6 p.m. CST, and it will go until December 3rd at 10 a.m. CST. And like I mentioned before, there will be no swatches included in either pack, but they can be purchased separately if you are interested. So I also wanted to mention that subscribers will receive 40% off their entire website during this sale, and basically the 40% comes from the 20% sub discount as well as the 20% site-wide discount. And if you are not a member and you want to get that 40%, you can sign up for a $29.99 sub big and up between 11.20 and 12.1 to ensure access to the additional 20% off. But if you are not interested in signing up for these sub bags, non-subscribers will still receive 20% off the entire website on the Black Friday weekend. And the code you can use is HOLIDAYMAGIC20. And all of this information will be listed in my description box, as well as the Sparkling Co Instagram. So if you want to check that out, I 
would highly recommend doing so. And I also wanted to say that those 20% and 40% will work on the holiday collections. However, it can't be combined with my code KateSnails15, so you can't say get a 35% off discount. You cannot use my special code. You can only use the code for either the sub bag discount and the site-wide discount or only the site-wide discount. And I did want to mention that there will be a Black Friday exclusive set and this retails for $54 and it will include three dip minis as well as three liquids along with an $18 credit which will be shipped with the set. So if you are interested in checking that kit out, it will be available on the Black Friday weekend under the special tab on the Sparkling Co. website. And if you are not interested in purchasing the kit, but you do want to get the three dips, they will be added to the permanent line January 1st, and they will not be available in single form until that time. Another thing to note is that all of the Team Sparkle colors will be $5, so if you're interested in purchasing any of those, they will be on the Sparkling Co. website for $5 during the sale. So that is all of the information I have to give you guys, and I know it is a lot, so you can see it on the screen. Otherwise, I will link it in the description so you can check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review and testing out of the Sparkle & Co. Holiday 2019 Iridescent Collection. I really love how these nails turn out, and I think they are perfect for the holiday season. And I also hope you guys take advantage of the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale on the Sparkle & Co. website because they are offering some really amazing things. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.